Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com My name is Jason Newland and this is relaxation, hypnosis for stress, anxiety and panic attacks. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. Now, in this recording, what I'm going to do is, it's going to be a sleep plus a relaxation session. And I've been doing more of these because I think it's nice to have the choice. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's nice to, you know, have a nice session of relaxation. But quite often that can and will lead to sleep, which may be much needed. So my suggestion would be to, if you are listening specifically for the relaxation and you don't wish to fall asleep for too long, then please set your alarm to wake you up so if you've got things to do uh, other than that you can just let yourself drift off and you know it's I guess it's a combination of boringness a combination of soothing a combination of lots of different things you know, your brain stops doing things, you know, you kind of almost, you stop thinking, you don't need to think about anything when you're listening to me, and trust me, I've I've talked to lots of people face to face, and I've seen their brains stop working, <laughs> their minds just seem to shut down, and their eyes look like they want to close and that's what I'm telling people about something interesting to me so you know this stuff does work and there will be two versions of this recording one with one without music the one without music will be about two hours long and the music is provided by Kevin MacLeod it's uh, open source, copyright free, uh, and I have, I will post the details about Kevin McLeod on, in the, uh, you know, information on the podcast, including his website, which is incomputech.com. So maybe check him out because there's some, he writes some beautiful music. I currently am using just one of his pieces of music doing this recording and doing recently all my recordings I've just only been using that one piece of music because it's quite a long piece so it suits what I need but I have reached out to him um, to see whether or not he'd like to do a podcast with me where he produces the music and I make the recording, you know, the audio, the hypnosis session. And so I found him quite hard to get hold of. Now, the most important thing really is for you to get yourself comfortable. That's the number one priority, is that you're safe and that you're comfortable. So if you are sitting in a chair, make sure you're safe by only sitting in a chair that has sides to it, you know, elbow rests or arm rests, something that will support your body when you fall asleep. 
because even if you were listening to this for the relaxation and you know you didn't you decided not to fall asleep properly you're still going to drift which means you will probably fall asleep a little bit even if you decide to just listen to the shorter version so it's up to you but make sure you're safe if you're sleeping or sitting up in a bed then of course make sure you're comfortable now I know for myself I would not be able to listen to this or any relaxation session by anybody else whilst lying on my bed without falling asleep 100% it's you know and in fact I can't I can put I listen to a heavy metal album whilst lying down and I'll fall asleep it's just it's my default setting so you may find it bad if you're listening for relaxation to sit in a chair or to sit up in bed now it's a long introduction but this introduction counts for future recordings that you listen to so I don't always do a long introduction about how to sit or how to lay down or you know ideally for this specific purpose because that would be a bit boring I guess for people to listen to every time but every now and then I do and this is one of those times so I'm now about to tell you to get yourself comfortable so there and what I would say is just close your eyes I'm not gonna I don't do any really sort of techniques to try and um, trick you into closing your eyes telling you that your eyes are closed and you can't open them and they're stuck closed and I don't do any of that stuff because if you've got eyelids then you can close your eyes you don't need me to help you with that you don't need me to tell you to breathe you know how to breathe you don't need me to tell you how to get comfortable because it's going to be different for everybody and you know your own body you know what physical positioning is required for you to be at your most comfortable and Don't feel obligated to to lie on your back whilst listening to this. You can do, and it might make some of the, uh, some of the things easier to do as far as, you know, for this recording, I'm going to be asking you to gently tense parts of your body, but you don't have to be on your back to do that. And although I I do like to lie on my back due to sleep apnea, I need to sort of, I need to be on my side. So you may have similar situations or just maybe a physical element, which means that lying on your right hand side is the best position for you. And you may be thinking, that's nice, JJ, but you're actually going to get on with the recording. You're actually ever going to say anything other than how we should lie down. Yeah, I am. I am. I'm going to do it now. So, that's it. That's the introduction. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to lead you through... As I just said then, I'll ask you to tense each part of your body as I mention it. And then relax it from the count of ten down to one. 
Now, I've very likely done this one before, it's okay. But even if I did the same um, recording, you know, uh, the same idea, or if I did this particular session of relaxing different parts of your body and then counting down from 10 to 1 as you relax after tensing them, each recording will still be different. Each recording will sound a little bit different because I'm not editing anything, I'm talking to you, and as I talk you through this recording, as I talk you through the process. I myself am also participating in the process of relaxing each part of my body when tense in a part just for a short while and then relaxing. So I'm going to ask you to tense from 5 down to 1, or should we say 1 to 5, yeah, count from 1 to 5 tense, and then 10 down to 1, relax. And what I would say is, don't, for example, if you're holding your arm, into your hand into a fist, First of all, don't strain. There's no straining involved in this. You're not going to win a medal. It's about doing it to the level that you feel comfortable. And also, if there's a part of your body which has any physical conditions, then you can just miss that part out. You can... Imagine yourself tense in that part of your body instead of actually physically doing it. And in all fairness, there's not really that much difference between imagining doing it and actually doing it. Because that part of your body will feel more relaxed. So we're going to start at the top of your head. I want to say your forehead first. Moving down your face. And then your throat, your neck, shoulders, arms, hands, chest, stomach, back, hips, legs, feet and toes. So that's going to be the direction that we're going to be going. Now, by mentioning those parts of your body, they may already decide to start relaxing in their own natural way, which is perfectly normal. Because, well, especially if you listen to me regularly, you'll very likely find that you start to feel relaxed just by pressing the play button on the podcast, on the recording. You start maybe to even feel relaxed whilst thinking about listening to me. Now, going to start by focusing on your forehead and I'm going to focus on my forehead at the same time so what I'm going to do now is take my glasses off oh, that 
always feel so relaxed and tired when I, do, when I do these recordings. Sometimes it's hard to stay awake, but it's okay. I'll do my best. So, as you focus on your forehead, what I find is to really you know, to tense it, you may find lifting your eyebrows up could cause, you know, those crinkles in your forehead. Or if you're my age, just <laughs> causing those crinkles in my forehead to squashed together even more looks a bit like an omelette so another thing you may notice and I don't really know why this is something that I notice is I mean at the moment I'm sitting in a chair of course I've got a microphone in front of me and it's a little bit different from your experience unless of course you've got a microphone in front of you which I would wonder why but unless you're a podcaster or anyway it doesn't matter the thing is I've noticed that the temperature of the room becomes more noticeable when I have my eyes closed and sometimes there feels like there's a cool breeze on my face. Not cold, but just cool. Yet there is nothing in the room to cause a breeze. The windows are closed. Oh, wait a minute, it must be that fan. No, there's no fan on either. There's no big feathers waving. It's just nothing in here, but I can feel just a slight breeze on my forehead and on my face. It's strange, really. I've never really... Maybe it's the process of having closed my eyes. Because when you close your eyes, your face automatically starts to relax. It's almost a, a trigger to the rest of your face that, hey, it's okay. We haven't got to do anything now for a while. The muscles can just relax because for most people when you've got your eyes closed, it means that you're resting. Either you're just having bit of relaxation or you're having a nap or indeed you're just in bed enjoying feeling comfortable as your body increases that relaxation your mind slows down and starts to drift so that's kind of what happens with the eyes when you close your eyes the rest of your face automatically relaxes which then sends that signal to the rest of your body it's almost like it goes direct from your eyes to your spinal cord sending those signals to every part of your body instantly It's quite, it's a nice feeling. It's a really nice feeling to be able to get in touch with this natural side of yourself. Something that doesn't need any 
deed can't be forced, but just you allow it to happen naturally. It's nice. Now, we're going to start with your forehead. So I'm going to, for me, I'm going to raise my eyebrows. And I realize I'm also kind of tense in my eyes at the same time. But it's really my forehead. So I could almost frown a little bit as well. So do whatever feels right for you. So that you can gently tense your forehead for the count from one to five now and then when I say relax I'm going to count from 10 down to 1 and you just allow that part that you're relaxing to relax naturally don't actually do anything to help it so if you were tensing your arms don't just allow your arms to go floppy. Allow your arms to just slowly relax from the count of 10 down to 1. So that you can really feel that relaxation entering your body. And you can feel the tension leaving your body now focusing on your forehead tense in your forehead now one two three four five relax ten nine eight Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to focus on your eyes. Again, you can. Maybe you'd like to crunch your eyes up or however you feel that you can do it. But make sure that you're not you're not putting pressure on yourself. You're, you're being gentle at the same time. Okay, so now I'm going to ask you to, like before, tense your eyes from the count of one to five. Then I'm going to say relax. And as I count down from 10 down to 1, you can allow your eyes, your eyelids, the muscles around your eyes to relax slowly and gently as I count down. So you're not going to do anything to help the relaxation. Just allow it to happen Slowly and naturally. Now tense your eyes. One, two, three, four, five. Relax. Ten, nine. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to focus on your jaw. So 
I suppose there's different ways that you can tense your jaw, you can kind of grit your teeth together. But just be gentle though, you know, it's not about, uh, there's no comp contest or competition, it's, it's about just tensing it, but in a gentle way. Okay, so I'm going to ask you to tense your jaw. Now, one, two, three, four, five. Relax. Ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now you're going to focus on the back of your neck. Tense in the back of your neck. Now. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Relax. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to focus on your front of your neck the sides of your neck and your throat, gently tensing the front of your neck. I find a way to do this is to sort of change the way my mouth feels and almost sort of pull the neck up with the mouth. Tensing the neck now. One, two, Three, four, five, relax, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one. As we now focus on your chest. Now tense your chest. One. Two, three, four, five, relax, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Now we're going to focus on your stomach, the whole abdominal region from basically below your ribs 
all the way down to where your hips start. Tensing your stomach muscles. Now, one, two, three, four, five. Relax. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. to focus on the top of your back, tensing the top of your back, it may, may be pushing your shoulders backwards a little bit, and maybe pulling your arms in may help to tense your upper back, so tensing your upper back now, one, Two, three, four, five. Relax. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Focus in on the middle of your back. Tense in the middle of your back. Now I'm doing this by just changing my posture a little bit, pushing back a little bit. Tense in your middle of your back now. One, two, three, four, five. Relax. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Focus on your lower back. Gently tensing your lower back. Now, one, two, three, four, five.
sometimes when I relax, my stomach seems to let off a few noises. And that's actually perfectly natural. I've seen a lot of people do that when they relax. As we now focus on your shoulders, we're going to tense your shoulders. Now, one, two, three, four, five. Relax. One, ten. Focus on your arms. I'd like you just to tense your arms. Now. One. Two. Three. Just make your hands into fists, if it's okay to do so. Of course, you can tense your hands by maybe pressing them out. You don't have to put them into fists necessarily, but just do whatever feels natural for you. So I'd like you to tense your hands, and in the process, you'll also be tensing your fingers. Now, one, two, three, four, five. Relax. Ten. going 
to focus on your hips. So a good way probably to tense your hips is to tense your buttocks. In the process you'll feel pretty much the whole of your hips tensing up. Tensing your hips now. One, two, three, four, five. Relax. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, to focus on your legs, tensing all the muscles in your legs, now, one, two, three,